All right. I have decided to teach you daily cattle feed formulation step by step. So I'm going to do that in three episodes. And by the end of the episode, you will be able to formulate diets for dairy cows manually. Of course, you can use uh, feed formulation software to formulate diets, but it would be our next uh, plan. So let's start with manual feed formulation to understand the basics of feed formulation. Then we can continue to um, software. So the first part of dairy cattle feed formulation. Here you can see the overall steps for feed formulation. So the first step is to really understand the nutrient requirements of the animal. It will be based on the body weight of the animal, based on the production level, for example, how much milk they are producing per day, and daily weight gain, or maybe they are losing body weight, specifically during the early lactation period, and physiological status. For example, like, is it during pregnancy, dry period, I don't know, early lactation, mid lactation, late lactation, and or, you know, based on the, the parity, if they are, if it's their first production or if it's their second milk production in their life. And all of them can, you know, contribute in determining their nutrient requirements. Then after understanding their nutrient requirements, we need to decide how much forage we are going to use in the diet and how much concentrate. And I already explained, you know, different methods to calculate the forage to concentrate ratio. And I'll post the link for that video up here. After calculating the forage to concentrate ratio, we need to understand how much nutrients coming from the forage section. And then we can subtract those nutrients uh, provided by forage from the total nutrient requirements of the animal to see how much nutrient we need to provide through concentrate. And after that, it's exactly like feed formulation for monogastric animals. And if you have watched my videos on least cost feed formulation, so it's the same idea for the ruminants as well. And at the end of the day, after formulating the concentrate section, we need to, you know, convert the dry matter bases to as fed bases and really develop a feeding program for dairy cows. So the first step, as I said, is to determine the nutrient requirements of the animal. So we can use different tables from NRC. NRC stands for nutrient requirement, uh, sorry, and RC stands for National Research Council, which is located in the States. And they are publishing nutrient requirements for different species, including the dairy cattle. So this is relatively old table from NRC. You can see different sections here. For example, we have a requirement for maintenance. And after that, we have, again, requirement for, uh, you know, maintenance for mature calves. 
that they are in dry period and you know last two months of uh, gestation so here as you can see nutrient requirements are a little bit higher than the normal maintenance requirements and then we have requirement for milk production based on uh, uh, milk fat percentage and also body weight change during the lactation. You can see some negative numbers here. So they are related to weight loss. So if your, you know, cattle are in uh, early lactation, they are losing body weight, you know, to su support the uh, milk production. In that case, we need to account for that body weight loss or if they are in, you know, mid production or late production and they are gaining weight, in that case, we need to uh, add it up to the previous requirements. So overall, we will have three types of requirements for baby cattle. Maintenance requirements based on the body weight, milk production requirements based on the daily milk production level, and body weight changes. This part can be negative during the early lactation for body weight loss, or can be positive for mid lactation and late lactation when our cows are gaining weight. As you can see here, we have different terms for feed energy, NEL, stands for net energy for lactation and we will be using this term to formulate diets for dairy cows. We have protein requirements and some minerals requirements like calcium and phosphorus and we can use them in feed formulation. We have newer version of nutrient requirements as you can see, this table is from NRC 2021. You can search for that online. And again, the idea is the same. So we have nutrient requirements for growing cows and heifers here. And also we have, you know, nutrient requirements for lactating cows by parity and body weight and days in milk. So based on the parity, if they, it's their first milk production, or if they are mature cows, it means that, you know, uh, the second milk production cycle or later milk production cycles, in that case, we need to use the relevant information from this table. So again, here we have dry matter intake for uh, our cows and also energy levels. Again, it's better to use the NEL or net energy for lactation if you are uh, formulating diets for um, lactating dairy cows. And protein level, of course, here you can see we have a more advanced term for protein we can see metabolizable protein here, and we can balance the metabolizable protein uh, instead of crude protein, which will give us really, you know, uh, more accurate and precise uh, information about the nutrient requirements. So in fact, if you look at the nitrogen metabolism in the rumen, or let's say protein metabolism in ruminants, you can see overall we have three parts. The first part we call it NPN or non-protein nitrogen, which is the amount of nitrogen in the feed that it's not coming from the protein section. It is from other sources. We do have RDP, 
or rumen degradable protein, which is the part of the feed protein that can be degraded by microbes, ruminal microbes in the rumen. And those microbes can use that nitrogen, you know, to build their uh, body's protein, which we call it at the end of the day, it is called um, microbial protein. And we have a section called RUP or rumen, rumen undegradable protein, which is the part of the protein that in fact is protected against the microbial attack in the rumen and it can be bypassed uh, from the rumen and it can go directly to the intestine and over there, you know, first in the abomasome, then in the intestine, it can be digested and absorbed. So at the end of the day, we will have two sources of protein for the host, which is the dairy cow. One is the rumen undegradable protein, which is provided, you know, to the post-ruminal section. And the second one is the microbial protein, which is, you know, uh, synthesized by microbes in the rumen. And after that, those microbes, you know, moved to the post-ruminal uh, stage. And of course, uh, they are digested and uh, they are absorbed by the animal. So metabolizable protein, in fact, is the sum of these protein sources, RDP and RUP, which are digested and absorbed. The part that is, you know, <clears throat> uh, undigestible and it's, it appears in the feces, we are not talking about that. We are talking about the part of the protein that in fact is metabolized for the animal. It is called metabolizable protein. So of course you can see the difference between metabolizable protein and crude protein. But when it comes to feed formulation, it's the same idea. Either you are looking at crude protein requirements or metabolizable protein requirements, the feed formulation method is the same. You can use crude protein numbers here or metabolizable protein numbers here to balance your diet. And of course, in this table, you can see uh, they, they have provided, you know, predicted protein and amino acid requirement for first lactation and mature cows at uh, varying days in milk. And here you can see, you know, the target absorbed essential amino acid. Of course, it is, you know, more specific information about the amino acid requirements. And usually for including amino acid requirements in dairy cow feed formulation, we need to use a feed formulation software. And it's tricky to, you know, formulate a diet manually and accommodate these amino acids levels. So in the next video, I am going to formulate a diet for lactating dairy cows with the following characteristics. The body weight is 600 kilo. It's their first parity, first milk production. Milk fat is 3.5%. Milk yield 30 kilo per day and body weight loss is 300 grams per day. So it shows that, you know, these animals are in early lactation and they are using the uh, body resources to sustain the, you know, milk production.
So stay tuned. Next week, I'm going to publish a next video uh, where we will be formulating diets for the scenario that, that I have just defined. So have a great day wherever you are and take care.